I went on around with it. I'm still trying to figure this shit all yeah. out. <laughs> but- <laughs> We're all trying to figure it out. <laughs> but I think, I think kind of what you're saying is whenever you stop to really sit with it, friction is your friend, mm-hmm. right? Friction is that feedback you need to be able to see yourself. Mm-hmm. And it's always about self. And when you look at friction and you blame anything but self, um, it's disempowering. Mm -hmm. The moment you blame anything else, you are literally claiming that other things trigger you, other things shape your happiness, other things shape your being, your human experience. Mm -hmm. And if you're that much of a victim, holy smokes, you're gonna have a shit life. You're gonna go around and you're gonna see all this craziness no matter what you believe. And there's so much extreme opposition to whatever perspective you have that if you allow it to trigger yourself, you're fucked. Like you're you're done. You have to take that power back. Mm-hmm. And you have to look at every time there's that friction in your life and you have to say, what is triggering me? What am I allowing to trigger me? What is that hot coal I'm holding? Can I drop the coal? Mm-hmm. When you're in an argument with somebody and they huck a hot potato your way, do you huck it back, right? Fuck you, you know? Or, <laughs> or do you take the hot potato and think, oh, I have the opportunity to disarm this conversation right now and to change my reality. And you just you set it down and you smile, mm-hmm. right? And you just, you grab the hot potato and you set it down and you smile. And if you can remember those little things, anytime there's friction, you can try to be aware of this stuff. You can disarm it in almost every situation. The problem comes when you forget this shit. You forget it, and it's this this continual building of more and more awareness. And it's yeah, some days you do forget it. Some days are easier than others, and some there's some days there's things that are going to trigger you way more. And it could be where the moon is at, you know, in the sky. It could be like what what's happening with your partner if your partner's going through a really emotional time. It could be what happened with the stock market. Happened with the stock market. Some zeros in my bank account changed. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, hot potato, right? right? Could be the government telling you that there's a curfew. Could be, yeah, X, Y, Z. And at some point, we are all going to deal with extremely hard things, right? Some things will cripple people. Some things people float on by. At some point, you and me and everybody watching is going to have to deal with people in their life that they love dying, passing away. Does it ruin your life or... Is it, is it a position you can move from with power, with wisdom, mm-hmm. right? And a lot of people think that they don't have any control over that outcome. Mm-hmm. And that's just a lie. It's a disempowering victim mentality. And it's not the way you need to live. And raise your state, baby. Like you don't need to take ultimate control of your being right now, but this is the journey. These are the goals. The goal is to not be triggered by anything external. That is to become unshakable. If we can do that, oh my God, we can do anything. Mm-hmm. And when the crazy shit goes down and there is crazy shit going down, right? When the crazy shit continues to go down, we can smile as it come and we can say, thank God I'm here experiencing this, breathing this beautiful air with good people in my life. Mm-hmm. How are we gonna make it a little better? Absolutely. Everything, yeah. <sighs> That's good stuff. Should we breathe in some marijuana? (laughs) We should breathe in some marijuana. Let's get into it. (laughs) 